One thing that makes this planet so amazing is the fact that it's filled with all kinds of secrets. You could dedicate your entire life to uncovering the world's mysteries and you'd still only be hitting the tip of the iceberg. While we've talked about Area 51 and the Bohemian Grove, the United States isn't the only country with strange, mysterious, and top secret locations. In fact, there are places across the Earth that might be even more secretive than the American counterparts. Some of these places are simply closed off to foreigners, while others are strictly off-limits to just about every human being on Earth. Some are surrounded by unconfirmed rumors, while others are relatively well-known. One thing is for sure, average people aren't allowed anywhere near them. Let's kick things off with a place that absolutely no one is allowed to visit. North Sentinel Island Located in the Bay of Bengal, North Sentinel Island is one of the last remaining places on Earth where native people are completely isolated in the outside world. The local tribe of this island is still living as they did thousands of years ago. If you could travel to this island, it would be like going back in time to humanity's hunter-gatherer past. Of course, you wouldn't last very long. The native people of this island are notoriously hostile and clearly want to be left alone. Numerous fishermen have been killed after getting too close to the island, and a Christian missionary named John Allen Chow was tragically killed in 2018 after attempting to make contact. The Indian government recognizes the autonomy of the natives and makes it illegal for anyone to visit. However, the government recently removed North Sentinel Island from its restricted area permit program which means that researchers and anthropologists could potentially visit after being approved. You'd have to be crazy to visit as an anthropologist, however, especially considering the island's history. Almost everyone who has interacted with the local natives has been attacked. In 1867, the crew of an Indian merchant ship was wrecked on the island and had to defend themselves for days until they were finally rescued. There is also evidence that the natives would be very vulnerable to many of our diseases, such as smallpox and the common flu. Leaving these people alone is probably the right thing to do. Diego Garcia is allegedly one of the CIA's most famous black sites, located in British Indian Ocean Territory. Diego Garcia is officially described as a militarized atoll. No one really knows what goes on there, but it is strongly rumored to be some sort of floating installation operated by the CIA. In 2015, a high-profile US official named Lawrence Wilkerson alleged that the CIA was using the site for nefarious activities. The most common theory is that Diego Garcia is some kind of prison camp. Many believe that people are taken to the installation and interrogated perhaps even tortured. British officials claim that a former US Army general named Barry McCaffrey has confirmed this on multiple occasions. Another theory is that Diego Garcia allows the United States to bypass certain international laws due to the fact that it isn't really part of any particular nation. According to the WikiLeaks Cablegate disclosures, the base may have been used to store American cluster bombs during a period when the USA officially suspended their use. Aside from these rumors, details about Diego Garcia are incredibly limited. The subject has become quite controversial, however, particularly in the UK. Various British government officials have voiced their opposition to the nation's involvement with the CIA installation and claim that the UK is complicit in the torture of terror suspects as a result of this connection. One thing we know for sure is that the installation is completely off-limits to average people. 
while China is open to international visitors. There are some areas that are strictly off-limits for tourists. One of the most interesting examples of this is the Jiangsu National Security Education Museum. This seemingly innocuous museum is located at the Yuhutai Memorial Park of Revolutionary Martyrs, one of the most important places for the Chinese Communist Party, also known simply as the Spy Museum. The Jiangsu National Security Education Museum is apparently off-limits for everyone except Chinese citizens. However, a 2016 article published by the Los Angeles Times stated that this is no longer the case, so perhaps the museum isn't actually as secretive as it once was. The museum apparently highlights the various security threats posed by nations like Japan, South Korea, and of course, Taiwan. Edward Snowden even makes a video cameo to explain the US's electronic surveillance program in one exhibit. Now let's travel to the island of Spitsbergen. In the remote Arctic Svalbard archipelago, where a very mysterious concrete installation quietly sits and waits for the apocalypse, the Svalbard Global Seed Vault literally contains the seeds of life, and humans may one day turn to the seed bank in order to rebuild society after a global cataclysm. The seed vault officially opened back in 2008, and it was built to stand the test of time. The island of Spitsbergen has virtually no earthquakes, making it the perfect location for a long-lasting building. After the apocalypse, it is estimated that the seed vault will continue to preserve the seeds for hundreds or even thousands of years. What you can see on the outside is just the entrance. The actual vault is hidden deep inside a rock layer behind a long tunnel. The facility is also completely self-sustaining, and it has the capability to continue operating without human assistance. No one can visit the seed vault without special permission, and even then, visits can only occur at certain times of the year, such as when a US congressman visited to donate chili pepper seeds. Russia certainly has its fair use of secret locations and one of the most famous is the town of Mezgoria. No one really knows what this small town holds, and it is reportedly defended by two battalions of Russian troops at all times. According to Russia, the town is officially used for mining, but rumors say that it's actually a nuclear missile facility. It's difficult to speak at length about Mezgoria because there is very little information about it, Construction began in the early 90s and ended about 10 years later. However, the Soviets were conducting activities in this area as early as the 70s, activities that are still classified to this day. The most reliable rumors state that this town is actually a huge bunker that is capable of housing up to 300,000 people. Some say that there are hundreds of kilometers of tunnels below the town. Whatever secrets this location holds, they are almost certainly underground, especially when you consider that there's almost nothing of note on the surface. Some argue that the bunker will be used to shelter government officials in the event of a nuclear war, but others point out that the Russians already have a fallout shelter located in Moscow. This gives greater credence to the nuclear missile silo theory. On the other hand, it might also be a deep underground military base used for strange scientific experiments, almost like the Russian version of Dulce Base. Once known only as Field Station 8613, Menwith Hill is one of the UK's most important military installations. It is immediately recognizable due to its strange white domes, and it is reportedly the world's largest electronic monitoring station. Menwith Hill is actually a joint operation between the UK and the USA, with some saying that it is simply yet another American overseas base. One thing is for sure, Menwith Hill is an integral facility when it comes to US global power projection. But what actually goes on inside this mysterious base, not many people really know. 
since it's a top secret installation that is off limits to everyone except high ranking military personnel. First established in 1954, Menwith Hill is officially described as a communication intercept and intelligence support service, but its precise nature or purpose has never been revealed. The most common theory is that Menwith Hill has something to do with surveillance, as the installation was apparently vital in several capture-kill operations and drone strikes throughout the Middle East. Finally, let's head back to Russia and check out the Kapistan Yar, which has been described as the Russian Area 51 or the Soviet Roswell, located in Astrakhan Oblast. The facility was first established by the Soviet Union in 1946, immediately after the Second World War. Since then, the Russians have repeatedly stated that Kapistan Yar is simply a rocket launch and development site. Nothing to see here. However, conspiracy theorists have long maintained that the test site has been used to investigate captured or wrecked alien spacecraft. Others claim that many Soviet cosmonauts were killed in attempted space flights from Kapustan Yar, and that their deaths were covered up. Some theorists also state that German space age technology fell into the hands of the Soviets after World War II, and the Russians used Kapustan Yar to test this equipment. We know for sure that various types of ballistic missiles were tested in this area. Another theory states that one year after the Roswell incident, Russian MiG spotted a strange, cigar-shaped object floating over Kapustin Yar and successfully shot it down. According to the story, the wreckage was then studied and then reverse-engineered to create the world's first spacecraft. Sputnik was launched soon afterwards, and some claim that this wouldn't have been possible without this reverse-engineered technology. The truth is that we don't know, and even if we did, we're just scratching the surface with these forbidden locations. Here's the thing, there are probably even more secretive locations around the world that no one has even heard of. Who knows? There could be a secret military base right below your feet. Or maybe your country is conducting insane experiments in a facility that looks just like an average office building. This can be a troubling thought but it also proves that the Earth still has plenty of secrets left to uncover, and that is a pretty exciting prospect. But whatever you do, never try to explore these forbidden locations.